some of you might know, I've invented a few things. Acoustic, uh, some stick basses. Uh, check out some of my videos. You can see with some of my crazy inventions. This is not necessarily an invention, but more of a uh, put together of a couple different things I had laying around. Uh, this is a Mead telescope uh, with an auto tracker, and that's a P900 on top there. And I can zoom around uh, the solar system or down the street. Uh, be nice at the beach. Um, good for tracking uh, planes, whatever you want to do. It's all remote control. Very nice. It's a real simple invention. Uh, it's a coupler that fits on the bottom of your camera and it fits right into the telescope. That's a one and a quarter inch coupler, one and a quarter inch washer, and a one and a quarter inch wing nut. It's a real simple little idea put together. You can do it yourself. Um, just screws to the bottom of the camera. Real simple. Fits real tight. Very secure. It's not going anywhere. It was like it was made for it. It's one of those lucky things. I just had some of this stuff laying around. So I put it together, and it seems to be working quite well. Just unscrews, boom. Put it with your other eyepieces. Again, uh, one and a quarter inch coupler from an old Mead telescope eyepiece. Uh, quarter inch wing nut and a quarter inch washer with a quarter inch hole through it. Fits on there real sweet. And we just take it over to the telescope, which is mounted on a telescope tripod. And it just slips right into the top eyepiece. Real simple. Fits in there very securely. It's not going anywhere. Uh, it does have a tightening screw. Keep it secure. Nice close up. You can see the screw there. Fits right in the top of the eyepiece. Um, turn the P900 on. You're looking at the screen there. You can also look right into the telescope, which is nice. Very handy. Uh, shoot the moon full frame. Zoom in and out. And now you can track it with the auto tracker from the Mead telescope. Mounted onto a telescope tripod. There's a remote there on the bench. And there's my little moon globe in my shop. Um, just mounts right on there. Real tight, secure. It's not going anywhere. Just uh, make sure everything's more than a quarter. Should fit. Make sure that washer's nice and flush on the bottom of the camera. Stick it in the eyepiece. Tighten it up. There you go. Like I said, just some stuff I had laying around. Put it together. Try to make it work. Uh, seems to be working quite good does securely fit into the eyepiece on top of the telescope. That's why I call it the eyepiece. There you go. Snug, secure, not going anywhere. You can make this at home. Just set this exact same setup, quite easy. Get an old eyepiece. Head to the hardware store and get a quarter inch 20. Uh, make sure you got about a quarter inch of thread going into the camera. And you can fit any camera on there. Canon, you can probably get one of those small ones, digital ones. Um, real simple. Looks real good, the Canon on there. Again, just take an eyepiece. Grab the coupler, wing nut, 
put it together. Make sure you got about a quarter inch of thread. And it sits in there super tight. I think you'll like it. I know I will. I'm going to like it. Take it outside and see what you can do. Uh, I took it outside to shoot the sun today. And the sun is in the clouds, which is really nice for camera work. I'm zooming around with the telescope. So I'm zooming in and out with the camera, but I'm panning left and right. Going up and down with the telescope. Very nice. Real nice uh, sunspot on this sh shot here, right in the middle. It's small, but it's definitely there. So I can keep that object right in the center of the frame there. With the telescope set up, real easy. You can do it too. Well, thanks for. Uh, Tune in, watching, listening. Um, uh, make your own eyepiece and shoot some cool videos. Thanks. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.